Welcome to this video that is a tour of the space that is all things yoga. It is a space that is all things yoga because it is a mini yoga studio. It is a practice at home yoga space and it is a yoga workspace as well. I love to teach, share and live a yoga inspired lifestyle. I have a yoga studio in Nottingham, that's where I teach in-person classes, but when I'm not there, I am sharing my love for yoga here in my yoga space, and this is where I create all my weekly YouTube vlogs, it is also where I create the content for my online yoga membership, the Soul Care Club, and this is the space where I record weekly philosophy, meditation, and yoga asana practices. And it's also a space where I am very busy creating a lot more things as well. I like to think of this as like a little yoga house. All things yoga happening in here. My yoga house is a outbuilding at the bottom of our garden. And we converted this space mm, over a year ago now, we converted it from what was a very rundown outbuilding into what it is now. I did share a video when I first moved everything in and set the space up, but that was a year ago. And in that year, I have added things in. And just recently, I felt really inspired to just, just change things around, just freshen up the energy. And I thought I would share those changes with you. The outbuilding is two stories and right now we are upstairs. The upstairs is where I have my desk, where I do a lot more of the behind the scenes kind of things and I have also added something else into the space which I'll share with you in this video. But first I thought we could start downstairs and downstairs is where I create all of the videos for my sort of care club or when I create any content where I'm doing any filming on the mat, any meditation, any philosophy kind of videos. So we'll head downstairs. which is my online yoga membership is made up of three different pillars yoga philosophy meditation and asana and i create new practices every single week and so this is the space where i create the philosophy videos but this little corner and beanbag is where i film and create the meditation practices and this is where i film the asana practices to the space. I wanted to create a personal practice space within my workspace for a few reasons. So the first reason being that when I am not filming, I do spend a lot of time sitting and it's really important to physically move our bodies. But also it's really important for me to just kind of step away from my desk and just get fresh perspective, just start to um, gain some clarity, some creativity. And I get that when I step onto the mat. And so I wanted to create a space that was separate to, to work. And yes, I have my mat downstairs, but that's, that's like my, that's like the workspace. And so this here, this is where I don't do any filming. It's just a place for me just to create healthier boundaries, create better balance, keep things flowing, keep the vibes high, the energy flowing. And that is what I have created here. 
when it comes to my personal practice, you will have seen in my weekly vlogs or when I share my morning routine video that I have a regular yoga practice and I have a regular asana practice in the morning. In our home, one of our spare bedrooms is my yoga space and that is where I do my morning practice. However, because I felt very creative and inspired to make changes in here and, and I wanted to create a personal practice space, this has temporarily come from there. So if you're like, oh yeah, everything, I like recognize everything from other videos, then you are right, because it has literally been taken from there and placed in here. So I will eventually either get some new things for that space or new things here, but I suppose I'll just move things around. But I mean, you might not have guessed because I seem to only have like one style, one aesthetic, one vibe, like I know what I like, I know what I like. Um, but yeah, this, this, this vibe is in our home, it's in here, it's in my yoga studio. I just know what I like. At the minute, this is where I am doing my morning asana practice. And do you know what? I'm really enjoying doing it in this space. Like it's this little building, it's got a really nice vibe and energy to it. It's very calm, and very peaceful. And um, yeah, so I really enjoy doing my asana practice in here. My desk space used to be that way. So the chair and the desk was facing this way. But I wanted to play around with it and move it to where it is now. And it just feels more spacious here. And it just feels right. I haven't got any other like logic behind why I've done that. But again, it, it's part, the power of energy and vibration, right? I think these things are felt. These things are felt like I can't articulate them. I can only feel them, but I am um, liking where it is there. And I guess as well, I have got a nice view of my mat to remind me to take those regular breaks. I still have the same desk and I still have the same chair, which I love. And I can't remember if I had this cushion or not. So this cushion, I've probably got about 20 of them. Um, but maybe maybe I did have it in the last video that I showed you, but this might be one that like I then since replaced because I would have taken it from one place. That's that's the thing when I have like when you have the same kind of vibe and everything just goes in everywhere. Yeah, I'm always like moving things around. I'm like oh, I'll put that back and I'll put that back later or I'll get something else to go in that space. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to add like some accessories to the space just to make it feel more aesthetically pleasing but also just adding in some texture too so i went to h&m home and got some really lovely accessories which i will show you really into dried flowers dried leaves and they look really beautiful and i got the placemat and the little donut vases from h&m home and then i got the leaves and the bunny tails and my pampas grass as well. I got those from Everwild. And then I also got this from H&M Home. So it kind of like all matches. I think it was like the same range. I did get some different candles before, but they just kept on falling over. And I really like the look of the twisted ones. So they are a recent addition. But I can't remember where I got those from, to be honest. I got these bamboo blinds and added these to the windows in here. And there is the beautiful pampas. And then I also got a bigger donut vase from H&M Home as well. So on my desk, I like to have my planner out and then I have my Mac as well. And then in the drawers, I have then my notepads as well. So I just like to have those handy. So they just live in there. I am very minimalistic and I have very little clutter. And so in this drawer, I literally have, this is for the air conditioning, all the heat in the winter time, and then literally my lighter for my um, 
my candle. That's it in that drawer. And then in this cupboard, I have got these cute little chickadee baskets. This one has all of my business receipts in. This one is where I store all of my hard drives for content. And then this one is just like a little mix of tech kind of stuff. Not just my workspace, but any space that is my responsibility looks the same, feels the same, is organized, tidy, minimalistic, spacious, has the same kind of aesthetic vibe. And it is a reflection of how I want to feel. Like our environment is everything. And our spaces are our responsibility. They are our responsibility to design, to create, but also to maintain, to, to cleanse, to clear, to take care of. And all those things are the practice of socha within yoga, this cleansing, this clearing of a space, like keeping it fresh, keeping it vibrant. And our spaces are a mirror reflection of ourselves. They're like an expression of our creativity, but also they are a mirror reflection of how we feel or how we intend to feel. So for me, I'm very clear that my space, I want it to make me feel calm and grounded and relaxed, spacious, clear, focused, creative, inspired. And everything that is in this space makes me feel that way and in my other spaces as well. And it's not just about then the, obviously then I receive those, that kind of energy and those vibrations from being in the environment and the space, but if we think about my yoga studio that I have, obviously that's a, a space that people come in, they come in to practice yoga. And so that space I have created with the intention that people feel calm, people feel relaxed, people feel safe, invited, they feel supported, grounded. And people come into that space and feel that energy. And they say that, people say that, oh, I feel so relaxed when I come to the studio. And, you know, people say that that's their safe space, that's their their sanctuary that's somewhere that they can come to escape from so again environment is everything it really really is and so i hope that maybe this video inspires you to not go and recreate like a copy of what i've got here you know obviously you know get inspired um and you might have the same kind of like taste aesthetically but it's like finding finding your own style, like finding your own creativity, getting really clear on what feels right. And as I mentioned earlier, like I couldn't articulate how just placing certain things then makes me feel, but the vibe feels right. And that comes from my intuition and something just feels right. And that doesn't need to be explained to anyone. Like if it's your space, your responsibility, and that makes you feel good, then you welcome that kind of vibration and that energy in. I know that my, my style and my vibe of things being very minimalistic and I probably, you know, I, I love, I should, you can just tell, you can just tell from what you can see my, my style and yeah, that's not going to be for everybody, but then I'm not for everybody either and that's okay, like I am not going to change my taste and my style to either fit in or just to get approval or validation from what anyone else thinks. So just remember that, like your space, your responsibility, your vibe and your style. Yoga teaches us to be flexible, not just on that, but in life as well. And it was a year ago since I shared the tour of the space when it had been finished. And I was really happy with everything that I had in the space and felt like it really felt right. But just before I did this move around, I was starting to just feel that the vibes weren't right and something just needed to change. And I gave myself that permission to make that change to a space. Now, I didn't actually go out and buy anything new when I moved everything around. The tour video that I shared with you was a year ago and like over that year is where I've kind of like added some things in. But 
just the moving around of things, like the moving of energy has completely affected how I feel when I now come into the space. And so I invite you to like lean into the spaces that just aren't feeling right. Again, you don't need to articulate it, it's just felt, but what doesn't feel right, can you maybe just make some changes? And I wanted to share with you the fact that I haven't like bought anything new when I decided to do the change because sometimes that's something that stops us. So sometimes we're like, oh, I'm going to wait until I buy new furniture or I get this or get that or decorate or do things. Don't underestimate the power of just then moving things around, moving energy, and it just creates some more spaciousness and um, yeah, just raises the vibrations. Thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out with me as I have taken you along for a tour of my yoga space. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you want to do here, then click the subscribe button and come along with me for weekly yoga inspired lifestyle vlogs. It will be lovely to connect with you weekly. And yeah, I will see you then in next week's video, which will be a yoga inspired lifestyle vlog. Thank you.